and thousands of people will be competing in tomorrow's run. It's a race for many, but for others, it's a way to give back. Chris 6 News reporter Catherine McGinty talked to one police officer about what motivates him to cross that finish line. This weekend, Assistant Chief Mark Shower is taking off his badge and putting on his blue and green running shoes. I can think the most clearly when I'm running. That's really an enjoyable experience for me, and that's why I don't listen to music. I, I, I just enjoy that peacefulness. It's a solitude. Shower will be running all 26.2 miles at the Beach to Bay Marathon for the fourth time. Well, I trained quite a bit. Uh, I had a marathon in Oklahoma City not quite three weeks ago. So I haven't run that much between now and then just to give my legs kind of a rest, but I ran eight miles over the weekend and I, I feel good. And there's a reason for all that hard training and why this marathon in particular is so important to him. To honor all the law enforcement officers around the, the country who have died in the line of service. So since I've been on the department, we've had five officers killed in the line of duty. He runs to remember his friends and late colleagues, Sergeant Joseph Bach, Senior Officer Juan Prieto, Police Officer Matthew Thebo, Lieutenant Stort Alexander, and Chief Floyd Simpson. Every mile I would try to say a prayer. So if, I have, uh, if I'm lucid enough to do that, that's what I'd like to do, say a small prayer every mile. A way to remember fallen heroes one mile at a time. Catherine McGinty, Chris 6 News. Took a lot of training to be able to do that. And tomorrow is Armed Forces Day. Chief Shower will also be running in honor of his daughter, who's serving in the United States Army.